There are millions of businesses that are looking for people like you to help them leverage the latest AI models. But the problem is that we still don't have a clear definition for what this new role entails. So in this video, I'm going to break down the difference between an AI developer and a machine learning engineer, and why I believe AI development will be one of the most sought after jobs in the next decade. Let's get started. When I started my journey in AI, I was basically focusing on machine learning and engineering. I was obsessed with building models, training them, and staying on top of the latest research. But as the AI landscape evolved, I realized that the most powerful models are not being built by individual engineers like me. Rather, they are built by huge companies and organizations. Because these models require so much compute that there is no way you can train them without any funding. So in 2022, I decided to shift my focus to applying the latest pre-trained models rather than building my own unique AI models from scratch. And what I immediately noticed is that the, all my clients became much more satisfied with the results. In 2023, this whole evolution has become even more apparent. Today, we have a few large companies like OpenAI, Anthropic, and Hagen Face that essentially act as infrastructure layers. They invest hundreds of millions of dollars into serving and training the most advanced AI models. However, they do not build their own applications because this would not allow them to scale. Rather, they distribute these models via APIs, which businesses and developers like us can then use to build upon and distribute to individual users. This is how just three or four companies were able to make such a huge impact on the global economy, estimating that AI could contribute up to $15 trillion by 2030. So now you're probably wondering, where do AI developers and machine learning engineers fit into this new AI landscape? To answer this question, let's first clarify the difference between a machine learning engineer and AI developer. As a machine learning engineer, your job is to build, evaluate, and deploy your own AI models. To be successful, you have to be very well versed in technical aspects of AI, such as model architectures, optimization algorithms, and data processing techniques. You have to be really good at STEM and possess excellent understanding of subjects like math and statistics. In one of my previous videos, I compared this position to being a doctor in the United States. It requires years of education, and without a PhD in machine learning, it is very unlikely today that you will get hired at any company like OpenAI or Google. As an AI developer, you don't need to know any of this. Your job as an AI developer is to help companies leverage existing AI models for maximum impact in the real world. Once again, AI developers help companies leverage existing AI models for maximum impact in the real world. No longer you have to spend years in a university just to improve some architecture by 1% on some random benchmark. Instead, you can take an existing open source or commercial model and double someone's business in just a few days. You can start building right away and make an impact without any resources and without existing AI knowledge. So, if we look back at this diagram, basically AI developers are located after the API layer, while machine learning engineers are hidden behind it. Yet, at the same time, as an AI developer, you don't quite reach the product level itself and affect the user experience. For this, you have UI UX designers, front-end, back-end engineers, and software developers. Your role is to connect the AI infrastructure built by ML engineers with the application to ensure that they seamlessly work together. Now, here's why I believe AI development will be the highest demand job of the next decade. First of all, the average salary for an AI developer on Glassdoor is already at 110k, which isn't that far from ML engineers. And I believe this number will only increase. And considering that the learning curve for an AI developer is much gentler, I think it's a pretty good deal. Second, there is still almost no competition. Every business can benefit from some form of an AI integration. Yet, very few traditional backend or frontend developers actually know how to work with vector databases, and even fewer know how to create their own agents and integrate AI models with third-party tools. And third, you can build over the weekend and deploy on Monday, which in my opinion is not only more fulfilling, but also more suitable for today's fast-paced and agile digital business environment. Instead of working on models for months and then realizing that nobody needs your solution, you can literally create an MVP in just a few days. This allows you to iterate on your ideas much faster and you can get some real feedback before continuing to improve your model and fine-tuning it with additional data. As a perfect example, 
example of what AI developers can do, take a look at Room GPT. This app now has over 2 million users and it was developed by a single person, Hassan El Mgari. And here's what he said about training custom AI. And even Room GPT, when I launched that, I had so many machine learning engineers that DM'd me on Twitter and were like, oh my God, like what models did you train? What parameters did you use? How did you get the data? How did you clean your data? I'm like, dude, you just use like an API off the shelf. You know, uh, you don't you don't need you can do so much with uh, off the shelf APIs. All he did is literally combined an open source model API with some of his own web development skills and a simple niche idea. However, building your own product is not the only possibility here. For example, I offer productized AI services on my website, such as custom AI support centers, chat widgets and internal chatbots for businesses around the world. I also often receive requests for completely custom AI applications that I could not even think of myself. So now now, let's take a look at how you can get started as an AI developer in 2023, if that's what you want to do. First, of course, I do not recommend that you go study model architectures and machine learning frameworks in detail. I don't even remember when was the last time I used PyTorch or TensorFlow. Nevertheless, having a high level understanding of how some of the AI models work in general can help you achieve better results and avoid costly mistakes when working with them. For example, understanding how bias originates in your data and how it can affect your model is important. But it does not make sense to study how each layer works in this model by itself. Instead, a better way to get started is to study a tech stack that resonates with you and where you can easily integrate AI. The most ubiquitous way is of course web development. However, However, there are many other options like IoT, mobile integrations to third-party platforms, REST APIs, or even AR, VR. Once you have chosen your stack, the next step is to start experimenting with various AI applications. I recommend trying to build your own AI agents from scratch. Do not use frameworks or libraries like Autogen or Langchain. I personally never ever use them in production. Next, you have two choices. You can either join a company that is already working on an AI product, or you can start selling your own AI solutions as a freelancer. I believe that freelancing fits AI developers perfectly because most of the projects are relatively small sized. However, this does not diminish the value that you can bring to the business so you can still charge a pretty high rate. After you have sold a few solutions, the final step is to start productizing them. This means turning your most common projects into scalable products or services that can be sold to multiple customers. Basically, try to reuse as much of your existing code as possible and try to approach only similar clients. For instance, I'm running an email marketing campaign specifically aimed at car dealerships because I previously worked on a project that involves combining ChatGPT with the car dealership's database to recommend cars and stock. You will for sure find your own niche over time as you deliver more and more projects. To sum up, as an AI industry becomes more and more competitive, I believe that the demand for AI developers will only increase. Language models are just the beginning and we can't even imagine what kinds of AI applications we will be able to build in the future. As Andrei Karpathy cleverly mentioned, looking at LLMs as chatbots is the same as looking at early computers as calculators. We're seeing an emergence of a whole new computing paradigm and it is very early. So definitely consider becoming an AI developer as this position can be extremely fulfilling for anyone who wants to make impact with AI in the real world. And if you are curious on what kinds of applications you will soon be able to build as an AI developer, make sure to check out my previous video here where I share 7 SaaS and service ideas for when GPT-4 Vision API comes out. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.